stuff. Now, uh, one of the things I noticed, your Instagram, man, is like hectic. Yes. Some amazing photography Thank on you. there. Thank you, yeah. Absolutely love some of the shots on there. Yeah. Like, is that something that you'd really like to look at pursuing sort of now that I Originals is finished? I, I love taking photos, but I think it's just the storytelling element that I get so attached to. You know, you take a picture and, um, and it might just look like nothing to somebody or a lake or a sea or you know relics or you know ruins but then when you tell the story behind it and what that represents and what it relates to i think it's a powerful medium and it's you know and i also just think i'm you know our culture today is just so obsessed with self so i just i don't know i i really try and strive to be a little bit countercultural, and i you know that's why i do talk about you know very spiritual things i talk about jesus a lot on my instagram it's almost impossible to hide but it's something i'm very passionate about and something i talk about but i also think it's been interesting to sort of see the response from people who follow me because they might not expect that from someone in my position yeah guess, sure you know? and like so you're quite open about yeah. your spirituality in yeah your case. like do you find that that's being the industry that you work in do you find that you're kind of a little bit different to most I, I think because of the fact that you're so open about it. I would say the world that we live in makes you different because I think everybody's happy to say God. Everyone's mm-hmm. really happy to say God. It's a very comfortable conversation mm-hmm. to say God. But when you say Jesus, it, it's a very, very controversial conversation. And it's interesting, you know, like I think what I've learned most about my time sharing what my experience is with my, my relationship with God is that so many people have been misinformed and God has been and particularly Jesus has been misrepresented over 2000 years Mm -hmm. that people don't really know who he is anymore and they might get their opinion of who he is based off of the brokenness of other people because we're all broken on some level Mm. and that's the truth we're all broken we're all struggling with something every single day and it's never going to get better like when we don't live in a perfect world we live in a broken world so it's very hard for us to go okay well who is God and am I, am I going to base God off a broken person that I might see, you know? And I think I put it down to this. Sometimes people go, well, I don't believe in Christianity because I've seen Christians and they've been pretty crappy people, you know? And I'm like, well, would you stop believing in, you know, being a vegan or a vegetarian if you saw a vegetarian eat meat? It shouldn't affect the idea yeah. because of the person. And mm-hmm. I think so much of what I'm trying to do on my Instagram is actually maybe show people a different light of who Jesus is based on the current circumstances of our world, which is a challenge and it's been good. And, you know, I've had some absolutely, you know, amazing positive responses from people. I've had some unbelievable, you know, conversions of people, even just like people in the Middle East who haven't been exposed to Jesus because they live in a Muslim country have been emailing me and saying like, I never knew this Jesus I've read about him in the Quran, the 93 verses that he's in, and I've heard about him, but I've never heard this, and I've never heard a Christian talk about him like this way. And it it brings, I think, something different. Because ultimately, what is Jesus? He's, he's, you know, in my opinion, a, a, a God that loved his creation so much that he entered and interceded into human history so we could see his face so we we could know his character you know and it's an anchor of hope that i think all people kind of need because if you don't have that if you don't have a relationship with something that's outside of people then we're always going to have broken something it's always going to be inconsistent and broken you know so i think the main thing that i'm sort of discovering is that humans need one thing that's consistent in their life and and i think the world has sort of started to say well it's self-love you got to love yourself but I think the rates of depression and and the the increases in suicide is saying, well, then actually that's not even consistent. We can't even consistently love ourselves. So there's got to be something outside of us. So I guess this weekend... Sorry, that's a really (laughs) really big... uh, (laughs) That's that's the problem when you ask me questions about spirituality. Yeah, but it's pretty profound. And that's the thing, like, I guess... You know, you're making yourself very open to that yeah. and open to having that conversation with a lot of people. Yeah, I love it. I, I think well, here's the thing that I've realized, like the world doesn't need another actor to mm. talk about himself because I'm not going to help anybody in life talking about how successful or how unsuccessful I was in my business, you know. And I think what I've started to realize, and I've been so fortunate doing these conventions, is that, you know, I do all these conventions. You'll have a thousand young people, predominantly young women in a room, and what I start to see is like a room full of a lot of people that are lost and searching, mm-hmm. you know, and the answer isn't me. I'm not the answer. But sometimes, you know, you can point people in the right direction. Yeah. You know? And sometimes you being open and talking about this yeah. stuff gives people that opportunity yeah. to have a think about that. Absolutely. So, yeah. And that's that's all you can do. You know, if we're not 
giving back to the world and what are we doing yeah you know what is the church doing if they're not giving back to people yeah. it's not about a building it's not about an institution it's not about feeling good mm. for yourself it's about giving back that's the whole message of and jesus speaking of giving back here we go we'll be doing it this weekend yes at i'll comic con sydney i, I so will yeah, be giving back it'll be awesome yeah hugs Looking are free no it. kisses obviously yeah. but that's just yeah. it's funny when they ask yeah <laughs> i get a kiss <laughs> yeah. uh, no maybe not but uh yeah. hugs hugs not, are free not today free hugs yeah. from Nathan, nathaniel yeah, yeah. hugs are absolutely free cool. yeah. awesome yeah. well looking forward to it thanks so much for your time today and uh yeah hope you have fun this weekend at sydney Oz comic con awesome don't forget to dress up and if you are playing cole michelson go big kick yep. a door yep. do, do whatever <laughs> awesome thanks nathaniel thank you Cheers.